Hi and welcome to All About Podcast. My name is Laurent and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure Pamela Call Recorder to record your Skype calls. In this tutorial, you will learn how to record your calls in two channels or on two separate tracks. I'm also going to show you how to change the default folder where your recordings are stored. I'll also show you how to configure Pamela to open your preferred audio editing software each time you complete a recording. and Last but not least, I'm going to show you how to extract the recorded audio into mono files in Adobe Audition. Now, just a quick note in this tutorial, I'm making use of a Windows 10 PC, and I do have the professional edition of Pamela. And if you want to know what version of Pamela you're using, you just go to Help and click on About. And there you go. So it will show you that the professional version I have is version 4.9.0.55. Now to check on the version that you are using on your Skype, go to help and click on about Skype. And as you can see here, I have Skype version 7.18.85.109. So make sure that you also configure your microphone before you start your recordings so for the audio settings i do have my microphone that's adr2 usb microphone or the audio technica adr2100 so i'll go ahead and cancel that one now to get started in configuring your pamela call recorder first you have to go to tools tab click on that one then let's go ahead and go to options. Once you have the options or the settings open, go ahead and choose call recording on the menu. From here, you can see the different settings. If you have the professional version or the paid version, you can have a limited recording time. The other settings is for your outbound and inbound calls, whether if you're going to record it or not. So for me, I have set it to automatically record both outbound and inbound calls. And these calls are automatically saved to a folder that I have set up, which I called Skype Call Recordings. There are two icons on this field. And as you can see, there is the folder icon. If look click this, it will open up the folder containing the calls that have been recorded. So you can see that there are WMV, which is a video call, and WAV, which is a voice call. Next thing is the gear icon or the cog icon. It will open up the directory that will enable you to choose or change the current folder where your calls are being recorded. So right now, I have my Skype calls stored on my Skype call recordings folder. But if I'd like to change it to something else, I can just go ahead and choose which folder or which drive I prefer. So once I have that set, I'll just click on OK. Another section that you would like to visit and check out is the advanced section still under call recording. And here you can adjust the sound level for you and at the same time the person you are talking to in your call. And for the call recording mode, I would highly suggest that you save it in stereo mode. So each sound stream will be saved in separate channels. Now, this will basically sound like someone's talking on the left and the other one on the right. We will be able to resolve that once we have uh, exported it to Adobe Audition. Talking about an external application, you can set up Pamela Call Recorder to open an application automatically each time you complete a call. You can just tick the box that says Start External Application and just choose which program you'd like to use. So it's looking for an executable file. Once you have configured the advanced setting on your call recording. I also suggest that you visit the advanced tab, the very bottom. And from here, 
make sure that you configure the audio devices here. So I'd make sure that I just copy the device settings from Skype. And the codec that I have is built in Wave plugin. So I'll go ahead and hit on apply. Click on OK. All right. We have completed the setup of Pamela for Skype. The next thing that we're going to do is to record an actual call, uh, a test call basically, and see how it works. So let me go ahead and open Skype. I'll go ahead and search for test service. Then I'll go ahead and make a call. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Hi, this is a test call and a tutorial on how to use Pamela for call recording. Hi, this is a test call and a tutorial on how to use Pamela for call recording. If you are able to hear your own voice, then you have configured Skype correctly. If you hear this message, but not your own voice, then something is wrong with your audio recording settings. Please check your microphone and microphone settings or visit Skype.com for more help. Thank you for using the Skype call testing service. Goodbye. Okay, so that completes our test recording. What I'm going to do now is to open this audio file that was saved. I'll go ahead and open the recording folder. And from here, I'll go ahead and open this one with Adobe Audition. All right, so as you can see in this recording, we do have two channels. So what we're going to do is we can extract this to mono files. So the first channel is mine. Hi, this is a test call and a tutorial on how to use Pamela for call recording. Okay. All right. So the second channel is the test service. Hello. Welcome to Skype call testing service. Okay. Now that's one. So the next thing that you can do if you don't want to edit in multi-track is you can actually convert this stereo into mono you can just right click and convert sample type or shift t on your keyboard and from the channels make sure that the channels is set to mono and click on okay so there you go and from there you can just do the rest of the steps like cleaning up the audio normalizing leveling all right, so that's it for our tutorial on how to make use of Pamela Call Recorder in recording your Skype calls. If you find this tutorial helpful, you can definitely hit like. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe. You can also visit my website at www.allaboutpodcast.com. You can also follow and connect with me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Podcast Editor. Thank you once again, and don't forget to check us out on our next video. Have a great day.